This is the uh, meat grinder. There's Bailey watching the meat, of course, because he's a dog. Uh, basically, once you put it in there, you start turning this thing. This is what the manual meat grinder looks like. And uh, you are going to have to clean out. There's a bunch of tendons that get in uh, cartilage and things like that that get caught up in the... Uh, things so you have to clean it up quite a, out quite a bit but you can see I'm making some ground ground uh, deer right there and then afterwards all you do to make sausage is mix the sausage seasoning into it um, I'm also gonna do a potted meat canning method with the sausage so I'll show you guys that basically I just make sausage patties and then I uh, pour uh, put them in a uh, mason jar well, I guess not a mason jar, but a canning jar. Maybe that's a mason jar, not sure. And then I pour hot lard over it and close the cap and it seals. And um, basically that'll last you probably six months to a year like that. Um, and you have to pre-cook it. So I cook the sausage patties first, but I'll have a video showing that process as well. Um, but right now I'm just grinding it up. Very simple process. As you can see, I got the meat grinder at a flea market out here for probably $10, roughly. Uh, you can get them. Sometimes you might have one laying around in your attic somewhere, uh, if you're one of those type of people. Um, but you can get them online new as well. You can get an electric one or a, a gas one, like I said. But um, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process. Here's the bucket of meat. Usually I'll take uh, pieces of it and I cut them into little chunks. You can see, you put them in there, you put them in the top and start turning it and you, you'll get ground uh, whatever you put in there. Don't put your finger in there. Uh, the uh, I usually put a little bit of lard in too. I know this is just store-bought lard. I wish I could get a uh, pork lard. Uh, but I don't raise any pigs just yet. It's on my list though because I, I want to be able to use lard. It's a very good for preserving the meats. Uh, like I was talking about the uh, potted meat earlier. And uh, at the same time, uh, fat is one of the hardest things to come by for primitive cultures. And uh, to be able to raise, you know, quite a few pounds of lard on one pig... Um, it's an asset, so it's something that's on my future to-do list. Um, I have quite a few animals. I have pigeons, chickens, rabbits. I have a sheep, uh, and uh, but basically, um, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm working on getting towards pigs. I just haven't built the pig pen yet, so that'll probably be a video in the future. Uh, but just figured I'd show you guys how the meat grinding process works because I said I would in the. Uh, deer uh, butchering videos and uh yeah i'll uh show you guys the next part of the processes as well for uh preserving this sausage because i don't use any refrigeration or freezer in anything i do so all right well uh like and subscribe to the channel if this uh kind of stuff interests you and uh until next time uh god bless